Okay, so everyone has said that I need to use a heat protectant spray to protect my hair from burning from the the uh, straightening iron, which makes sense. I mean, I guess I'm not a girly girl enough to know that, so thank you for the tip. And I think I might have some of that in my um, Extreme Coupon stockpile because sometimes I just get shit for free and don't even know what it is or ever have any intention of using it, but I think I might have some of that. Hold on. Let's see. Let's go shopping in my stockpile. All right, this is where most of it is. That's for your face. That's for your hair. That's for other shit and other shit I can't even remember. But that's the one we need, and it's pretty full. So let me get that down. Oh, yeah, she nice and thick. Let's see if we can find anything in there that might work. Okay, how about these ain't even for your hair? This is a body lotion. And this is a body lotion, but I thought that was for your hair. Don't know about hey guys, that. So there's this, which is a color vibrancy dual protect spray. I don't even know what that's for. Then there's flat iron protection straightening. That might be what I need, but that's perfector, not protection. But then over here, you've got an argon oil because someone mentioned that they used one of an argon oil in the comments. So is that maybe something I could do? Or now this is a heat defense leave in conditioner. Is this what I'm supposed to be using? Or what about this? Dry body oil. Wait, that's for your skin too. Jesus Christ. Why? Why, Suave? Well, I so thought this was for your hair. There's, I've literally been spraying this in my hair. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so bad at this being a woman shit. <laughs> I've been spraying this in my fucking hair. <laughs> it smells nice. understand how being a girl works like I don't know how makeup works I don't know how my hair works but like if you take a step back and you see that you're like well like nobody takes you aside in foster care and says oh by the way this is not for your hair it's for your body you just have to kind of like fucking wing it and this is one of those times where I probably should have taken some flight lessons Yes, I have a ton to do, and yes, I should be in the shower, and yes, I still have to cook dinner, and I have to get my kids in an hour, but I have to work out. 20 jumping jacks and 10 crunches. I don't do crunches, because I have a really bad back, and I have a floating rib from a car accident, and crunches, like, pop that bitch out of place. So instead, I do these. One, two, three, four. You get it. 15, 16... 17, 18, 19, 20. And I actually did 24 because I showed you four of them. So now we got 10 jumping jacks. 10 jumping jacks? 20 jumping jacks. Fuck, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Boom, bitches! My best friend is here helping me cook because he's like oh mama you smell so good you smell like chuck roast <laughs> so i've got the the chuck roast cubed into one inch cubes i'm going to add my seasoning and my breadcrumbs to this bowl i'm going to dredge it in the flour mixture well the breadcrumb mixture and then i'm going to saute it in the pot but i also want to show this so these are the pieces of the chuck roast that are just mostly fat. And most people would just throw these away, but I'm not going to throw them away. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to dredge these first, seasoning and all. And then they go to my best friend. Because he's always by my side. He's always got my back. So instead of just throwing them away, I'm going to give them to him. Actually, I'm glad that I did that with the test strips because it's not even ready yet. So while it's waiting, I'm going to clean up. Clean as you go. You hear it? They're doing their thing.
But this little piece over here, he's way too big. All right, so I told y'all I was gonna do a video today on how to clean out your dishwasher because my dishwasher is making a funny noise and sometimes when that happens, it's just because it's gotten food stuck in it and it's really easy to clean. So you just wanna pull out your drawer and I'm using the same to clean out my fridge and you just get a box of baking soda and sprinkle it on the bottom, just like this. Yeah, just nuts you can never have too much the next thing you want to get is a thing of distilled white vinegar i used to buy the big one because i use it for cleaning but if you have a smaller one that's fine you just need a cup of it mine's pretty nasty so i used about a cup and a half but all you want to do is put your cup right here in the middle on the top row it's important that it be on the top row and then you just run your dishwasher like you normally would and let's hope that that sound goes away when i do this Bitches. Did I even do a morning pep talk this morning? I know I've done like a million videos today. I did videos on my hair. I did videos on cleaning the fridge. I did videos on cooking the beef stew. I did videos on my dog and how fucking amazing he is. But I don't know if I did a pep talk. And honestly, I'm driving. Woo, shit, I almost ran over my goddamn garbage can. I forgot it was trash day. Fuck, I am driving. Oh my God, I'm so close. I am driving, so I can't even look in my things. <laughs> Whoops to see if I did. So just in case I didn't, I just want to say I love you guys. I believe in you. You're amazing. And whatever it is that you have to tackle today, I believe in you and I believe that you can do it. Even if you don't believe that you can do it, you can do it. Whatever it is, whether it's going for an interview or doing an assignment for work or school or, or even if it's just trying to cook beef stew in the Instant Pot and not kill yourself and burn your house down. So yesterday I did a video on my CDs and I just want to talk a little bit more about why they're so important to me. When I was younger, I grew up in foster care and I didn't have a lot of money, but the one thing that I would spend my money on is CDs and I would save my money. Okay. I waited tables, dude. Some nights I would come home and make like $3 legit. No joke. <laughs> I used to make no money um, when I waited tables. I got better at it. But when I first started, I was so bad. I mean, who isn't bad when they first start out? So there'd be nights where I came home with $5 tips and that would be it. And I had to pay for bus rides and I had to pay for, even though I lived in an independent living group home, there was overhead. So when I would finally save up $20 to go buy a CD, it was a big deal. And I would always have to like really meticulously decide like which CD do I want? Because there would always be like four or five that I wanted in my collection, but I could only get one. And I would usually get like 1200 curfews by the Indigo Girls because it's a double. I love music. And I grew up listening to a lot of hippie music because my parents were hippies. So Paul Simon, James Taylor, um, Van Morrison, The Doors, uh, Stevie Nicks, Fleetwood Mac, all of those you know, singer-songwriters from the 70s and some of the 80s, I grew up listening to and I was very comfortable with. But I didn't really connect on any of those like on an emotional level. And I was living in a group home, I was living in an um, independent living group home, and one of the girls there named Donna said, have you ever heard Ani DeFranco? And I said, no, I've never heard of her, ever. Is she on the radio? And Donna was like, no, actually, she's not. It's actually a really funny story, because she couldn't get radio play, so <laughs> this bitch actually went and was like, fuck y'all, I'll get my own record label, and she made her own record label called Righteous Babe Records, and she puts out great music. So that made me go, all right, all right, I'll give her a chance. And she had the CD out of range and she played the song out of range and it changed my whole life, y'all. Changed.